Okay, I'm going to open up a GT file of a bottle opener. And there it is. I really like the handle on this, but I don't need another bottle opener. Today I'm going to try and make uh, something else with this handle. So I make a new assembly, new design, and uh, bring the handle in. Now I'm setting a new layer to put an image on. I have an image of a spatula. I'm going to replace the handle on this image of a spatula with the handle from my JT file and then I'm going to model the spatula here in space clean. So I hide my handle and I get to work on building the spatula. Here I am uh, just kind of tracing over the image file. Do a little line offset for an axis and I'm going to make that a construction line to bend it to revolve around. <clears throat> Here I revolve and now I have to do a little bit of work in my structure tree. Uh, components. So I move my solid into my rod component and I hide the handle go back to my image, bring that layer back on so I can see that. I realize that my rod is a little too skinny so I just pull on the uh, surface of the cylinder to make it a bit thicker and then I can reposition my image to where it needs to be. Uh, next I'm going to draw this little connector here. It's pretty blurry in the image so I'm taking some liberties and just kind of making Basically, throughout this whole demo, I'm showing how I can use both layers and components to help myself show and hide different things uh, when I need them and when I don't need them. So here, I'm going to pull both sides once I have a new component, uh, the connector connection component. And I drag my surface over there, and then I pull it to the correct size. I'm going to get another component here for the actual spatula blade. And then I'll zoom out a bit and start sketching away here. Now I'm just going to draw some lines on the edges of this picture. Again, it's this is just an ideation, so I don't have to be very precise. And I just make some rounded corners here, uh, which trims everything very nicely. And then I can hide my image to see the sketch. Um, here I'm going to do some three-point circles to do these cut cutaways in the blade. And then some tangent tangent lines connect those and trim up my circles so I have uh, one continuous chain. Hide my image, pull, I can delete this cutout and then pull the blade to you know, about two millimeters. And now I'm going to pattern this cutaway. So I select it, I move it over here, and then I tab over and set the count to four. And now I can drag my one pattern hole up and the other ones follow along. So I'm going to bring back my image layer and see that my cutoffs are off a bit. So I can just slide them over and they adjust accordingly. Now real quick here I'm going to make a blend between my blade and my connection. So I split the face here on the end of my blade and then I need to go into my connection part. I'm going to select this surface, copy it, paste it into my blade component, and then just do a pull blend, and there you go. Now, let me bring back my handle, and well, it looks like we're almost there, uh, but here's a problem. I have a, the handle came from that bottle opener, and I have a, I still have the old 
pull, so I just pull that face up and then get rid of it. And here I'm going to copy my rod component or solid into my handle and do a quick combine to cut away a little hole here. And then I can bring everything back. Now, um, my spatula needs a, some bend to it, so I just move my move the surfaces here, give it a little angle, and then we'll sharpen up this blade here with a quick chamfer. Uh, but the 45 degrees isn't working for me, so I'm going to do a draft, change the draft angle on the chamfer, give it a, a better edge there. And so now we'll bring back the image to see where we started and where we came or where we got to. And uh, so as you can see, we have the handle from the original JT file and the newly generated geometry from the spatula image.